The objective within this lesson is to express metric capacity measurements in terms of a smaller unit. Model and solve addition and subtraction problems involving metric capacity. When we are talking about capacity, we could be thinking about a can, a can of soup, and the amount of liquid within that can of soup. So for instance, you could have a whole liter, a whole liter of soup. That actually would be a pretty good amount of soup. Or if we were thinking about a smaller can of soup, we could be talking about milliliters. And then so we have one liter equaling 1,000 milliliters. And so that's the relationship in between liters and milliliters. So again, the liters is the larger unit and a milliliter is a smaller unit. In fact, a milliliter is one one thousandth of a liter. We have this table and chart for capacity within the metric system. We have liters and we have milliliters. Remember that one liter does equal one thousand milliliters. If that's the case, can you complete the rest of this table? Copy the chart. Pause the video. Work to complete it. If one liter equals 1,000 milliliters, three liters equals what? Did you write 3,000 milliliters? What would five liters equal? 5,000 milliliters. If I was to look at 12,000 milliliters, well, that's more than 5,000 milliliters, so I know it's going to be more than 5. What did you put? Well, there's 12 thousands within this number, so it is 12 liters. Let's look to rename some other ones where it is that we have both liters and milliliters. Here I have two problems. Let's start with this first one. 3 liters along with 247 milliliters equals blank. And in this case I'm renaming to a smaller unit, to milliliters in particular. Remember that 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. If that's the case, then what do this three liters equal? Three liters would actually equal what? Hmm. Did you say 3,000 milliliters? So if I'm renaming it, I'm taking 3,000 milliliters that I renamed the three liters from, and I'm putting it together or adding it with the 247 milliliters to get 3,247 milliliters. Are you able to finish this next one? Let's see what you put. Did you rename 5 liters to 5,000 milliliters? Putting it together with 86 milliliters, what do you get? That's 5,086 milliliters. And what you can do, and probably should do, is to remember to place your commas. That makes it a little easier to read each of those numbers. So 5 liters, 86 milliliters, does equal 5,086 milliliters. Let's take a moment to read this problem together. Anne has a container that has 2 liters, 348 milliliters of water. Sam and Anne have 5 liters, 128 milliliters of water altogether. How much water does Sam have? Let's write out a focused answer. Sam has blank liters, blank milliliters of water. And let's form a tape diagram. What are our knowns? What do we know? I think we know what Anne has. It says that Anne has 
2 liters, 348 milliliters of water. So that's what Anne has. We know that there is another person, Sam, who has a certain amount of water. I don't know how much yet. And it says Sam and Anne have 5 liters, 128 milliliters of water. So let's draw a tape diagram for Sam. And it says all together. Oh, that means that Anne and Sam's together, we know that, is 5 liters, 128 milliliters. So if they're together, that's the amount. What I don't know is this right here, Sam's, which I'm trying to solve for. Now, if we just thought about this with simpler numbers, and together they had had five, and Anne's had been two, what we would do with the five and the two to figure out Sam's? Did you say subtract? If that's the case, let's do that same thing with 5 liters, 128 milliliters, and 2 liters, 348 milliliters. Now our problem, if I started to start, try to subtract this, is I cannot subtract 348 from 128. It would be a negative number. So I have to regroup one of these liters back on over to the milliliters. So if I take one of these liters, the 5 becomes a 4, and that 1 liter becomes what? 1 liter is 1,000 milliliters. So what I can do is I can write 1,128 milliliters. So what I did is I renamed 5 liters 128 milliliters and a 4 liters 1,128 milliliters. And then I can do my subtraction. 8 minus 8 is 0. 2 minus 4 can't do it. 1 becomes a 0. 2 becomes 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. And 10 minus 3 is 7. So I have 780 milliliters there. And 4 minus 2 is 2. Now if I were to work my th through my problem another way, I could have named all of these two milliliters first. The 5 liters, 128 milliliters. And the 2 liters... 348 milliliters, figured out my answer in milliliters, and then after I figured it out in milliliters, then I could make a conversion of it back from milliliters, back on over to liters, rename it as liters, and milliliters within my answer. So Sam has two liters, 700 milliliters of water.